Two resistors of 100 ohms and 2 ohms are connected in series with a battery of 4 volts. So this is 100 ohm and this is 200 ohm and they are connected in series with a battery of 4 volts. Okay. And negligible internal resistance. Internal resistance is 0. A voltmeter is used to measure voltage. Okay. So now like let us say you know this is the this is the circuit okay now a voltmeter is used to measure the voltage across the 100 ohm resistance so here there is a voltmeter which is applied okay um, which gives a reading or as 1 volt okay so here the potential difference is 1 volt the resistance of the voltmeter must be okay so if you see if this is 1 volt so here the drop should be 3 volts okay because uh, like uh, if we apply you know the Kirchhoff's law okay so let us say you know the current I is flowing so uh, you know the Kirchhoff's law of course like the current direction should be you know opposite in this direction so if we apply the Kirchhoff's loop law so it's going to be uh, plus 1 volt plus I into 200 minus 4 volts is equal to 0 so therefore you get I is equal to 3 by 200 ampere okay because here the potential difference is going to be 3 volts so they, we get 3 by 200 ampere now uh, what is happening is so this you know, so this is 100 ohm and again the potential difference is 1 volt so therefore we can write here the current is how much 1 by 100 ampere okay so therefore how much current is now flowing in this is so here the current flowing is 3 by 200 minus 1 by 100 which is equal to 3 minus 2 by 200 which is 1 by 200 ampere. So the current flowing here is 1 by 200 ampere and now again the, uh, the potential difference is 1 volt so therefore 1 by 200 into R is equal to 1 volt. So therefore the resistance is 200 ohms. So therefore the resistance of the voltmeter must be 200 ohms. Thank you. Uh, I will just repeat how we did it. So first what we did was first uh, you know like uh, so we know that there is potential difference of 1 volt here. This the battery supply is 4 volts so there must be potential difference of 3 volts here. So this gives us the current in the circuit. The current in the circuit is 3 by 200 ampere. Now this current is going to pass through both of them. Now here again we know because the potential difference across is 1 volt. So therefore the current across this is going to be 1 by 100 ampere. So therefore how much current is like passing through the voltmeter? This much 3 by 200 minus 1 by 100 which is 1 by 200 ampere is passing. Now the potential difference across the voltmeter is again 1 volt only so therefore 1 by 200 into the resistance of the voltmeter is 1 volt so therefore the resistance of the voltmeter becomes 200 ohm thank you